other than the surrounding area. Even that in itself can be a cathartic can use towards giving you time to think about the paintings. You don't have to be painting the whole time in order to be painting. You can be working on the, the concepts, the ideas that can come to you. You can just be out walking in the woods, suddenly see some, some angles and some colours and some, some ideas come to you. Maybe it's escaping, but it's a process that works for me. And there's never enough hours in the day. Um, I wish a day had 40 hours. Um, my my actual working day, loosely structured, would be kind of get up at the crack of 11, go for a cycle or, or go kayak, depending on the weather dependent. Yeah, I just potting around and prepping stuff for the day. Watercolours would take up the afternoon then and there'd be commissions and personal projects, but just mainly due to the lighting. For the watercolours, the actual daylight works so much better. Oils really made, are made more personal work than commissions. I don't get struck with the urge to start oil painting until 8 or 9 at night. And this happened I'll paint through till four, five, six, seven. And then rinse and repeat. Uh, it's not it's not regimented to a conventional working day, which outsiders may see like if, if they call by the house for something and I'm in my pajamas then they may think <laughs> like I'm just a hobo or a layabout. But that's just how I've structured it and it works best for me. I've tried flipping it and I've tried painting a, a 9 to 5. But I'm not struck with the, the spark, I guess. It's just, uh, the observational sketchbooks, I try and keep the drawings between 5 to 10 seconds. Not look at the page, you're just looking at your subjects, which in most cases are not humans. Cause most of my paintings are figurative. Uh, I find that they help link my eye and hand coordination. The more you do, the, it is a practice, as with anything. If you don't practice, you'll get rusty. They bring an accuracy to your work. And then, when it comes to if you want to do a painting or fly to fancy, you don't need a model as such for your, your roughs, your sketches. You, can, you know the human form inside out. They can be quite beautiful. If they're a pure line. Your eyes almost attached to your finger in a way. Your finger is attached to your eyesight. Where your eye goes, your finger follows on the page. And hopefully you're left with something resembling at least one part of the human body, if not out of proportion with some of the others, but all the lines are pure. The, the, the flip side of this is. If you look at an object and then you look at a page, you may look at the human arm and then go look at your page and go, right, I know what an arm looks like and draw the arm. Whereas if I'm looking at the subject and the drawing at the same time, I'm drawing what I see, not what I think I see. I always feel I'm 
never get enough done, even if I'm doing an 18-hour day of painting. I wish I could do more. <laughs>